Now that we've had a lot of practice solving linear equations with various setups and situations, we're ready to bring a lot of those situations together into one problem to see if we know how to solve it. As usual, we will always balance through the equal sign. But before we can start balancing on the equal sign, we always want to make sure the left and right side are completely simplified. We've seen a number in front of parentheses before. If there's a number in front of parentheses, we know we need to distribute it through. This will give us 2x minus 10 plus 3x equals x plus 18. And after distributing, we always want to check to see if we have any like terms. And you notice on the left side, we've got 2x and 3x, which can be combined together to give us 5x minus 10 equals x plus 18. And we have now gone through and simplified this problem on the left side as much as possible. Now we're ready to start balancing. And the first thing we want to do when we balance is we want to make sure the variables are all on the same side. We can't move things away from x if x is on both sides. So what I suggested we did was move the smaller variable. On the right side, we have 1x. It's a positive 1x, so we'll get rid of it with a negative 1x on both sides. When we do that, the 1x's will subtract out to 0 on the right. So on the left side, we've got 5 minus 1, or 4x's, minus 10, equals 18. And now we have a simple two-step equation, which we know how to solve. Start by adding 10 to both sides, giving us 4x equals 28. And then finally, dividing both sides by 4 will give us x is equal to 7. In this way, we can solve any linear equation by first simplifying, which might mean distributing and combining like terms, then moving the variable to one side. I suggest moving the smaller one and solving the remaining two-step equation getting rid of 10 negatives with 10 positives, and 4 times x by dividing it into 4 groups to get our solution. As usual, we can always check our solution by going back to the original problem and plugging 7 in. Let's see if it gives us a true equation. The original problem was 2 times x minus 5. We just found out x was 7, so let's write 7 minus 5 plus 3x, which we said was 7, equals, I'm running out of space here, x plus 18, or 7 plus 18. Following the order of operations on the right side, we'll do the 7 minus 5 first to get 2 times 2 plus 3 times 7 equals, on the right side, we can go ahead and add those together to get 25. Multiplying from left to right, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 7 is 21. Hopefully, that will be 25. And sure enough, when we add 21 and 4, we get 25 equals 25. We have found the one value for x that, when plugged into this original equation, we get a true solution.